guys and welcome back. So today I'm back with another Primark haul because I went back and picked up another few bits over the month. But first I just wanted to say a massive thank you for all the comments, the likes and the subscribers. I feel like it's just all of a sudden sort of grown and I'm so grateful and that's all thanks to you guys. So I really do appreciate every single thing that you guys do. So just a massive thank you to all of you that watch comment, like, subscribe, it's absolutely amazing. Um, I just quickly want to say that I am using natural light today so it's a bit sunny and cloudy so my lighting might change ever so slightly um, and also as you can tell but without further ado I think that's everything so let's get into the haul. So some of you may have seen a top that I picked up in my last haul and it was in black and I saw it in white so I went and went ahead and picked it up because the black one was so flattering. It is just this swing vest with the cut shoulder sleeves on and it has these frilly sleeves which is so nice. Um, and again I think this was £5, £8 but it was just it was just so flattering in black. I hope that white has the same effect obviously for spring um, so hopefully you guys will see me um, in the clip with that but I just can't wait to sort of have some nice weather to wear some nice clothes I feel like I'm so fed up with jumpers and and leggings and tights and jeans that I kind of just want spring or summer to come now so I can't wait to wait I can't wait to wear that next thing I picked up was this black shirt and you can't really see it hopefully you'll be able to see it better when I try it on but it has these sort of I call them 70 sleeves but the, the wide sort of um, flowy sleeves and it's just this plain black shirt with this neck detailing um, on the front if you can see hopefully you'll see it better when I try it on and it has the buttons all the way down but this I have worn this um, but this is just so smart casual it can either be dressed up or dressed down that's really messed around with my lighting I'm really sorry so you really love that it looks quite it looks really nice on so I also picked that up in this color which is this minky pink color which I'm quite obsessed with again just has the same sleeves and the same neck detailing um, and they were £10 each but they do they look really really nice um, so hopefully you'll see that when I try it on another piece that I picked up was this pink jumper and it has these sort of cropped sleeves and I think it is a little bit cropped in itself but I absolutely love the design on it I think it's so spring summer um, I'm really hoping and willing it to be sunny so that I can wear it again it has this really pretty neck detailing and I thought this would look really nice with some light denim jeans and and, and some sandals hopefully if it ever becomes warm enough um, but yeah it has this sort of crochet detailing in the middle so you probably will have to wear a vest top under it but it's absolutely beautiful and I really really love that um, next I picked up, sorry for the creases um, by the way, next I picked up this light pink sort of jumper again, I know the colours but I am really hoping for some better weather, I'm in spring mode already um, and it is this sort of crop sleeve, bat wing kind of top, it's just a simple top really, again with some light denim, some sandals maybe and that was just £5 but it's really really soft and it's like a really thin woolen sort of material I'm not very good at explaining it but if you could feel it it's so soft but still really light and airy um, so that would be perfect for when it's not too cold I've got the top that I am actually wearing now it's just this black sort of simple top uh, you'll, I'll, I'll do a stand up um, view so that you can see it um, I've worn this a couple of times though unfortunately I think it has shrunk in the wash a little bit um, which is really gutting because I really really like this top but again it's just black it has these rolled up sleeves and it's really flattering on so um, hopefully when I stand up you'll be able to see it if it's not shrunk too much the next things that I picked up are all sort of shoes or accessories or homeware so I'm going to jump straight into the homeware as I said at the top I picked up this really cute Winnie the Pooh mug um, and it says I'd rather be in bed on it. I'll get it out of the box. I just like the packaging because it's really like it's got Winnie the Pooh all over it and um, so I wanted to show you guys but it's just this really cute simple mug and it's just got Winnie the Pooh laying down saying I'd rather be in bed which is really relevant at the minute for me because I'm having some fatigue issues and some sleep issues which I did say that I would go into in another video so hopefully sooner or later there'll be something or another on my channel that will explain um, but this was £2.50 they also had a Eeyore one which I am going to pick up but I feel like my mum's going to kill me because 
I'm a bit of a mug collector and we don't have masses of amount of cupboard space so I have to be cautious in how many I buy at, at what time so that I can get away with buying lots of mugs. Oh, if that looks really like windy outside it's actually really hot like it's such I don't know if it would be hot outside because it's super windy but at the minute I'm really really hot. Next I bought this rose gold stationery set this was actually £5 reduced to I want to say £2 which my friend actually spotted for me and I jumped to pick up because it has rose gold drawing pins the paper clip paper clips and the clamp clip things and it's really cute um notepad and some pencils which say different things on them like believe and they're all the wrong way um believe because plan stuff like that so i absolutely love this because as you guys know i'm gonna say it again i love rose gold i know you're all probably bored of it but um i just really thought this was such a cute set and i couldn't not even though i have more than enough stationery i also am a bit of a cushion holder um you guys probably don't know because i haven't really picked up many since i started my youtube channel um but they're all currently sitting in the air and cupboard because when i change the look of my room i change my cushions so my mum also ends up having to store them somewhere as well but i couldn't resist the winnie the pooh one from primark it was so cute i think it's so different it has this really nice stripy pattern on the back but he's just so cute laying there in his little pink shirt and I love the shape of it. So he's going to be a well-loved addition to the Gemma family and he's going to live on my bed with my really cute Thumper who is one of my favourites. So um, yeah, they're hopefully going to match and live together somehow on my bed. So hopefully maybe in future if you'd like to see a room tour let me know and I could hopefully film that for you. Even though my room's small, I've packed quite a lot in so let me know if you'd like to see a room tour. Uh, another accessory set that I picked up was the set of chokers and I will do a close up because you can't really see but it has these lace chokers. Um, two separate lace chokers a thinner one and a thicker one and then it has this really nice sort of longer longer choker that have been going around I really do want to get one in black because I feel like I just I really like this color but I feel like black sort of goes with anything and everything um, I'm not sure if they suit me yet so I'm gonna play about with them and outfits and see what I think but I'm not too sure if they suit me yet but fingers crossed uh, I'll find an outfit and they will match and go so hopefully and these were £2 which I thought was so good considering you're getting three chokers and they all have their separate chains on them so that was really good. Next to shoes which I have way too many shoes I am again I have quite an addictive personality by the sounds of it but just for fashion and mugs and pillows and things girly things um, but I could have not pass up on these shoes so I'm going to show you the first pair I got were these really beautiful nude painted shoes um, I actually saw these on Primark's Instagram and I rushed out to get them along with the top but unfortunately I couldn't find the top uh, anywhere and um, but I managed to find the shoes and obviously they are really beautiful they have this tassel detailing on them and hopefully I'll be able to try them on and show you and these were these were £10 but they're really sort of good quality and comfort they have like this sort of squidgy bit in, in the actual shoe which makes them a lot more comfortable I will assume that they're going to take some wearing in but once they're worn in I hope that they'll be comfortable because I'm quite prone to blisters so I have to suffer in order to get some wear out of a really nice pair of shoes. Hopefully once the blister stage has passed I'll be able to get lots of use out of these but um, again they were just really good. I also am very optimistic and picked up my first few pairs of summer sandals from Primark because you have to get in early otherwise when you go there's there's none left um, in your size so I did try and pick up some sandals I'm just trying to get them so that you can see and it is these sort of goldy crisscross sandals I don't really know if you can if you can get the benefit from them but they look like this and they have this sort of detailing that go up the foot um, I have to be careful with certain sandals because I, where I have bigger feet because I'm a taller girl sometimes they can be quite unflattering and make my feet look bigger but these did look really nice and they were only £6 and I couldn't put them back for £6 um, also they had my size obviously which is amazing and you know some would say that there's a slight um, rose gold tinge in there so of course 
there was me straight in my basket. Um, but yeah, so they were an absolute bargain and I'm hoping that we get some weather to wear them. And last but not least is my favourite purchase of them all and it is these really beautiful sandals with these pretty flowers on. They have these cream and rose gold or muted gold, whatever you want to call them. Um, flower detailing all the way down the front and then they are just these simple slim back sandals which are very timeless I think. I think they go with so much and a lot of the time these are really comfortable so I did actually pick these up. Um, I have taken the tags off to try them on but I believe these were six or eight pounds I'm I'm not sure but again I could they couldn't I couldn't actually find them in my size um so m me being optimistic I tried on a bigger size and they actually fitted me better than what my size would have so I was actually so chuffed and I felt like it was my lucky day um so I did pick these up and like I say they were quite the bargain so they're really beautiful and hopefully again just waiting for some sun so i actually forgot to include a couple of bits that i got from primark thought i would quickly put them in now um so the first thing i got is a little bit random and it is this suitcase um i'm not sure how it's shown up on camera but in person it looks a bit rose gold pinky bronze sort of colour, it was just right up my street so I decided to pick this up. Um, I got it in the medium size, there was no small ones, there was a large one and a medium size one and I decided to pick it up in this one just to try and prevent me from overpacking. Um, I'm a bit worried that it's not going to be big enough but I'm going to have to wait and see. Um, I'm going to New York in December so I think this will be the perfect case to sort of take because it's not too big and it's not too small. Um, it is a hard case as it always is here, it's a lightweight, durable, 360 degree spinning wheels which I really really like so that means that you can sort of push them along um, on all fours and a push button handle which is pretty standard um, but this was £35 and it's absolutely stunning but I really really glad that I got this case. The next thing that I forgot to pop in was some jeans because I'd already put them away um, and they are just black jeans with a rip in the knees. I'm actually wearing them now so the easiest thing for me to do is just do a try on shot so that's what you guys will be seeing now but I really love these jeans and the design. I haven't got anything like this in my collection really especially not in black so I thought it would be fun to try and design like to style um, but they're really comfortable they're quite high-waisted I really really like them so you'll be seeing those now and I can't remember how much they were but I think they were around about 10 pounds and that is everything that I forgot to include in the haul so that is everything that I got from Primark this month so far if I get anything else I probably will upload a small little haul because I'm quite addicted to just popping in there because I feel like if you leave it long amounts of time you often miss out on things that have been in stock or coming in stock because they're changing all the time so I will do that but again I just wanted to say I'm so grateful for all of the positive stuff that is coming my way with my channel and it's all thanks to you guys so thank you so much and I'm really glad that our little family is growing and I hope that we can keep keep on growing hopefully i will see you guys in my next video which will be something hopefully a bit different um because i'm going to try and break up obviously the primark hauls but i'm going to do a primark haul once a month and then a few videos in between just to break it up a bit um i'm just trying to find my feet with everything um so i really hope you enjoyed my primark haul and i can't wait to see you guys in my next video thank you so much Bye guys. Oh, this new crazy mother.